The third primary cultural practice that we're going to discuss is irrigation. And the three tips we'll be covering are first, know your precipitation rates. Secondly, adjust your irrigation rates with the season. And finally, twice as much is not twice as good. So the first tip is know your precipitation rates. And more specifically, what is the depth of water you're applying in an irrigation event rather than the time? This can vary substantially from irrigation head to irrigation head. For instance, a pop-up sprayer can apply a tenth of an inch of irrigation in as little as five minutes, while a rotary sprayer may apply the same amount of water in as much as 20 minutes. So in this point, we're going to demonstrate an irrigation audit. And you're going to see three steps. The first is placing the catch cans across the irrigation area that you're going to audit. Second, run the irrigation system for a half an hour, 30 minutes. Third, look at the irrigation depth in the various catch cans and use that to develop an average irrigation depth per the 30 minutes. We're going to then use that to develop an irrigation rate targeting two tenths of an inch of irrigation. So the reason we're using two tenths of an inch of irrigation per event as our general guide is because a loamy soil, which is very typical of this part of the United States, uh, can only hold about 0 0.06 inches of water per inch of soil. Therefore, if we irrigate two tenths of an inch, it's going to wet the soil to a three inch depth. And if we take a look back to our turf sample here, remember this is a very shallow rooted plant. The maximum rooting depth uh, is only going to reach a few inches and the vast majority of the roots are going to be in the top three and four inches of the soil. So other problems associated with irrigation events greater than two tenths of an inch is precipitation rates will often exceed infiltration rates. Therefore, if you put down more than two tenths of an inch of water, the water has a tendency to run off the surface. And if we exceed two tenths of an inch and it does happen to drain into the soil, often the water will drain past the root depth which we previously discussed. Tip two to proper irrigation is adjusting your irrigation rates with the seasons. In our part of the world, we have a temperate climate which has the vast majority of its rainfall through the fall, winter, and spring months with a very droughty summer period. Therefore, we need to adjust our rates to compensate for this summer heat stress, which is exactly the time when cool season turf, which is the dominant grass species in our part of the world as well, also needs the vast majority of water. So in the spring and the fall, we're going to target our rates from 0 to 0.75 inches per week, depending on your specific environment and location. And then as we move into the summer months, we're going to increase our rates from an inch to inch and a half, again, depending on your particular situation. So if we then reference back our two tenths of an inch of irrigation per event, if we irrigate five times a week at two tenths of an inch, that'll put us at an inch of water per week, which will get us at the beginning of our inch to inch and a half rate for the summer. And then we can adjust the rates accordingly if we need to. So the third tip to successful irrigation is twice as much is not twice as good. Over irrigation is going to result in runoff of nutrients and pesticides that you've applied. Runoff of fertilizers containing phosphorus are going to accelerate processes like eutrophication, which we've previously discussed. And over irrigation is also going to result in leaching of nutrients and pesticides through the soil. You're also wasting water when you're creating surface runoff and leaching. So some things associated with over irrigation include annual bluegrass, rough bluegrass, moss, and crane fly. Here we are at Lawrence Field at Oregon State University and the point of this visit is to illustrate the importance of frequent mowing, proper fertilization, and proper irrigation. So this soccer field, which is host to the men's and women's soccer team at Oregon State, receives mowing 
three to four times a week. Fertilization five to six times a year. Heavy applications in the spring and the fall totaling around six pounds of nitrogen per thousand feet per year and daily irrigation through the summer heat stress period between a tenth and two tenths of an inch of irrigation. Again targeting right around an inch of water a week. And if we just take a look at this field, we can see the benefits of proper implementation of these three primary cultural practices. Mm -hmm.